Good morning, it's Hiker Dude Dad. Cole Swanger and I are out on the Schuylkill River. We put in at lock 60. Let's go. <laughs> We've been to Lock 60 before to do the Neil Thorpe Trail. Yeah, Cole yeah. Swanger is dead ahead. You can find him on Instagram and in front of my boat. The Skook is his river. His idea to come out today. It's going to be hot today, but otherwise a beautiful day to hit the seas. We're on the lookout today for lots of wildlife out here. A lot of huge turtles. You'll see them plop in from time to time. I'm hoping to get some underwater shots of uh, turtles as well. Frogs, herons, water snakes. A lot of stuff should be out here today, especially when we come north on the uh, canal. Heading under a bridge now that looks like it's missing some rails. Is that a railroad bridge, you think? Yeah. yeah. Railroad bridge? Yeah. Pretty high over the water here. That was cool. See a road bridge up there, set the bus just drove by. Again, we're right outside of Phoenixville. Getting a little bumpy here, nothing compared to Mount Johnson Island. That expedition on the Susquehanna was definitely choppy, so I can handle this if I could handle that. Got stuck and it was just rocking me around for a while. Long wood or something. What is it? Fort Providence. Fort Providence Port. is where we're. Huh? Port. Port Providence. Port Providence is where we're going to get out and turn around and take the canal back north. I feel like I'm going backwards, it's so weird. A 
man. It's the most I ever got hung up. Just use my hands to lift and push my way out. Felt like I was on the Pequay tubing, getting stuck every two minutes. So we're coming up to the place where we're going to land and portage over to the canal. So we're taking the river down and the canal back north to where the car is. did the uh, tenth of a mile portage trail in between the Schuylkill River and the canal. Uh, so now we are aiming north again and we are in the canal. So not very free flowing. So we're right down at the end of it. Um, a lot of stuff on top of the water here. Not sure how clear the water is going to be. Uh, the river much more free-flowing, way clearer. This is a little stagnant, but this is gonna enable us to uh, easily paddle north and get back to where the car is. Uh, there's a road right over here, sorry about that noise. But, you know, we're in a dense, uh, you know, outside of Philly area right now. But uh, this is really nice. We should be able to see a lot of uh, turtles and everything uh, here hopping in off the of logs and everything like that. So let's go check it out. I can't believe how many there are, like you were saying, but I didn't grasp exactly how many there were going to be. Damn, that's three big boys, man. That was. 
so hard to film in kayak. It is way better hiking. Like it is so hard to do this. Keep the balance and everything else. Some ruins over here to the left. Not sure what that is. What a great paddle. Morning. Good. Is that one on foldable boats? It Fold is. Boats yep. Yeah, <laughs> so Fitzwater Station here, you can rent kayaks and get a drink, get some food, whatever you need. It's a popular place. An outdoor deck up top here. Sharing the road with some Canada gooses. Canada gooses, majestic, barrel chested, the envies of all ornithologies. I don't know if they're going to get out of the way or not. The only thing that messes with Canada Gooses or Canada Mooses. Got some more turtles coming up here. We've seen so many turtles. This is awesome the most turtles I've ever seen outside of maybe Wildwood Park up in Harrisburg. Check that video out here. But yeah, they're just all over the place. The bigger ones don't care if we go by. The little ones are skittish and jump in. I hope I've gotten some underwater footage of them after they've jumped in. I'll have to see how that turns out. I won't know till later. Trying to hang close to shore so I can, uh, can get some good stuff here. Oh, I got a log coming up ahead with a couple on it. Floating in the water here. Uh, sorry, where? Oh my god. One looks like he's hopping up there to take a ride. So here is the Lock 29 restaurant. We're definitely going to post game here. We got Flyers flag out front. That's good with me. Paddling up now towards the doors here, lock 60, which are closed. This is the end of the road for us. This is back where we started. Here's the end of the road. Time to gracefully dock and definitely time for a burger and beer.
Back down to log 29. Mm -hmm.